Hi everybody, welcome to Craft Hair Noon with Stephanie and Yentl. We are going to teach you today how to make your very own binoculars of what we assume many of you might have around your house, toilet paper rolls. Um, you probably have a lot, especially if you've been a toilet paper, toilet paper hoarder. <laughs> <laughs> um, so let's move in and tell you what all y'all need. All right, Yentl, so tell them what we'll need. So you'll need two toilet paper rolls. You'll need a hole punch, a glue stick, some scissors, some scrap paper uh, for this little strip that we'll be making on there, and some markers. Oh yes, and a yarn or string or whatever kind of uh, thing you can use to tie because that's how you'll have them around your neck. Uh, for this one I got really fancy and I just used some decorative tape so if you have that you can do that too for the, the little borders but for today I'm just gonna uh, color with markers. So first step first step get your toilet paper rolls and you're going to decorate them however you want. Um, like Yantel said on this one, she used some decorative tape and then just with markers. But on the one she is making today, she's just making some fun squiggly lines. They're not cute. I'll, I want to squiggly okay. this one. Yeah. I'll see some markers. See. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make Triangles. Well, that yeah. doesn't really look like a triangle. It's gonna be a fun print. Making all different kinds of triangles. There's a right triangle and a saucily triangle. <laughs> what are the <laughs> other names of them? Uh, well, come on. <laughs> if you know them, put them in the comments. Help us. We don't know. <laughs> we we have been out of math for a very long time. Um, I'm also going to make some circles. This one is not going to be the pretty binocular. I'll tell you that. Because if it were my choice, I would probably do the washi tape. Yes, that makes it very neat. Very fast. Yeah, and it also looks cool. Okay, so here are two very questionable design, questionably designed <laughs> binoculars. They're so cool. Okay, so once you have them decorated however it makes you happy, step two is that you're going to use your glue stick and you want to strip your glue right down the center of one. And once you have that, right down the center of the other one and then glue always works best when it glues to something that has glue on it mm -hmm. so whenever you're gluing you want to try and glue two things together with glue on each side so you're going to use your strength in your hands to press these two together and if you have an adult or a strong person nearby you can ask them to help you with this project. Oh my. If it's not sticking well, that might mean you need more glue. In this case, Yentl did a an A plus job. Okay. So step three is that you're gonna create this little strip here and you're gonna glue this to the both of them so that they stay together. It's just one more um, way to secure the binoculars so they don't fall apart. And you can use any color mm -hmm. scrap of paper that you might have. And again, you want to glue both sides. Um, so put glue on your strip and on the cardboard tubes. Okay. 
Okay, and use again your finger strength to press those down. Or if your fingers aren't long enough to fit in the, the tube to put pressure there, you can again ask an adult or an older sibling. Okay, so now we have them together. They're coming together. So that's step one, step two, step three. Step four is you're going to need a whole bunch. And you're gonna make two little punches on each side of your toilet paper rolls on the outsides. And those are the holes that we're gonna to use to tie our string around. So um, any other string will work. In this case, we're just using some yarn that has um, Christmas colors. You can use a rope, but you can use an old shoelace if you have one. Make sure that the string is long enough to go around your neck and that you still have room to pull the binoculars up. So tie this on. You might need some help um, from an adult or an older sibling tying these on because they can be kind of tricky and it's not really easy for tiny hands. Do the double knot on that one. Okay. Yeah, double knotting is good. Okay, good job. So now you have your completed binoculars. Okay, so now that you have your very own pair of binoculars, you can go outside and look, peer through them, see what you can see. Mm -hmm. um, you also might could peer through them in front of a window if mm -hmm. maybe it's too cold to go outside or raining or windy. Yes. Go, go look for some birds. Ooh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, if you've made the binoculars, we'd love to see them in your design. So please take a picture of you looking through them or making them and share it on our Facebook page. Mm -hmm. All right, it was good to see you guys. Thanks. Bye.